this is the Sunday vlog continued. <clears throat> my voice sounds like crap. Sorry about that. Had to get a picture of my license because I had this issue last night with this man deciding he's like Barney Fife on steroids. Goofy cop, if y'all know about that series. Anyway, uh, yeah, he thinks he's working at Mayberry. He's working in some million dollar neighborhood and why am I showing up here at 9 o'clock at night if I don't need to be over here? I'm a black woman showing up in a right, white, white, rich neighborhood, okay? Can't nobody stupid. Anyway, had my stethoscope, had my badge showing my little paramedic title over here, which is somewhere in my purse down here. My purse, my purse. I had my freaking passport. I can go to any country. I could get on a plane and go to any country. And, and I didn't even show up broke, all right? I'm just going to say, it ain't big money, but it's big money to me, all right? There's some 20s in the middle of there. Y'all can't really see them. They're, I promise they're in there. There they are. Yeah, so it's not like I showed up. I'm going to rob these folks. And I was just there the day before. The security guard the day before didn't seem to think it was all that special of an incident that he needed to hold me hostage at the gate. And this old man last night tried my nerves, but anyway, um, I'm going to attempt to run in here to the auto zone. <clears throat> and there's a couple auto shops here, sorry, I had to figure out which one it is. And we got some ugly storm clouds coming over there. It just rained a little bit. When I left the neighborhood, and then I'm out of the rain. This is Florida for you. <clears throat> but I need to get some windshield wipers, because if y'all can see this, these suckers are toe up from the flow up. They are, like, missing all kinds of, stop, rubber edge. <laughs> so I need to get some new windshield wipers. So I'm going to run in here. Grab some windshield wipers. Supposedly we're having a hurricane. Tomorrow's, I believe, Labor Day holiday. Observed. And then Tuesday, Chase is out of school again. So I'm going to have to deal with his darn daddy and figure out what time I can pick my kid up. Because he always just moves stuff around for his convenience. Hmm. Never mind that I'm the mother. That I'm the one that carried him for nine months. That I'm the one that fed and growed him. Grew? Growed? Yeah, that. Anyway. That fool. And, uh... Currently, I am just off the radar. We have a new culver over here, if you guys can see that. Right there. Cheese curds are off the chain. And the flavor of the day, it says, is brownie thunder. I don't know. I thought they all had like a certain day of the week they had specials on, but this culver says they're not, but I see all kinds of specials advertised on that sign right there. And then we got a Panda Express right next door, and we got Tractor Supply next door to them. What? It's getting crazy up in here. Um, I just found out that Panera Bakery, my big old coffee place here and there, I know that they give all their extra leftovers to, um, like, food shelters or food pantries. Every night they have a truck that comes around to all of them, picks up. Love you for that. Awesomeness. Not wasting food. And, um, yeah, I just found out that they have bakers that bake overnight. Like, I think they come in at 9-ish when the place closes and then leave at 5. And I was leaving that job for Mr. Country because he was putting in for it, and we did turn his application in for it. But honestly, I don't know what this medical thing is going to work out to be because right now the lady couldn't talk to me on the phone. She wanted me to send me a copy, of, wanted me to send her a copy, rather, of my ID, which I just did. It's over here somewhere. Now, I'm sorry, but if I can show up with a um, state of Florida ID uh, right here, Florida, and I can also show up with a passport, which a lot of people don't even have, and you can travel around the world with a darn passport, and Barney Fife wanted to give me a hard time last night, U.S. passport, um, yeah, that's me, this is me. It don't have that many stamps in it because it's good for 10 years, but, well, there's one when I went to Portugal right there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, well, there's two because I guess they stamped it both times. 
when I came in and when I left. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, me up front. Well, got to be careful about stuff on the internet. So let me just trip my finger over there. That's me. When I had long hair. That's this chick right here. So can I just say that, like, dude, I got more identification than you probably got hanging out in your wallet right now. And you want to give me a hard time about coming in a neighborhood to take care of an elderly woman who needs to have dialysis three days a week and who is not doing well in health and her family may or may not be taking advantage of her. I'm just so irritated right now. This is exactly why I got out of health care because everything gets real stupid. And I was a police dispatcher, so don't tell me about what kinds of identification you can use. Oh, anyway. Um, I need to get in here and get these windshield wipers. I'm just rambling. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> uh, I don't... I saw that my number on my subscribers went to like 234. Dipped and went back to 234. I'm not sure what's going on there. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm sorry that my videos are so crazy, but hopefully they're entertaining for you. Laugh at my pain. Wasn't that what Kevin Hart said? He's my favorite, one of my favorite comedians. Kevin Hart, uh, laugh at my pain. I believe that's one of his names and his titles, but highly suggest y'all take it out <laughs> and check it out. Not take it out because you don't do the old thing where you had to take videos and VHS tapes from Blockbuster that was, yeah, I'm showing my age. Anyway, um, Kevin Hart, laugh at my pain. That fits my life right about now. The sky is looking like every direction I look, there's something different about it. I don't even know which version to show y'all because... There's some gray, and then there's some rain, and then there's some blue and gray, and then there's nice blue... I, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get in here and find out which young teen fella is working behind the counter. Um, I had a young black lady last time that helped me out putting some screws on my uh, license plate, which I can do, but... Every now and then a girl wants to be lazy, and I'm getting ready to be lazy today. I'm just getting ready to take my windshield wipers in there and be like, I need two of these. And that's going to be me. Mm, there is a stellar looking young man next to me right now. <laughs> He's probably wondering why I'm talking to my phone, but... Oh, mm. Alright, let me go. <laughs> Bye. Alrighty, so this whole car thing is throwing me off right now. I just spent ding near 30 bucks for two inch wipers because this car needs a 16 inch and a 24 inch. Even though we have a storm coming, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to end up returning these over to this store because I'm pretty sure I can get them a lot cheaper over at Wally World. <laughs> but winter wipers haven't been changed on this car in like six years, so... I'm pretty sure I can use the cheapest one, and this is not it. And my phone is, sorry, coming out of the case. That's barely fitting into this holder thingy that you have to adjust in 10 different directions. Anyway, um, anytime, for those of you that don't live in Florida, anytime we have a hurricane come, gas stations will literally, sorry, I heard a siren, it kind of, draws my attention. I see the engine coming out over there. Um, it literally will cause people to lose their damn minds. All the water is gone from the shelf like Florida does not have a lot of water that you can get from other places besides the store. And then gas stations run out of gas. And that becomes the biggest problem. Um, I do have a generator that I bought in 2006, long time ago, 13 years, okay, but um, never had to crack it out of the box because there's a lot of things that you can cook on a grill with charcoal or just heat up the fire and you can make coffee, trust me. We were without power for three, almost three days straight, and I learned real quickly uh, 
one, the benefit of country neighbors that will get out there with a chainsaw and help you move some trees that fall down over the road so you can leave. And uh, two, I learned how to make some coffee on the grill because I was real hooked on coffee back in the day. And um, basically you're just boiling the water and then you're pouring it over the coffee grounds. Hello, it ain't that technical. Sorry for all you baristas out there that I'm letting down right now, but, um, yeah, so I could make some coffee, and, um, pretty much you want to eat all your perishable stuff first. Don't open your fridge any more than you have to. Oh, this guy's getting ugly over there. And, um, that's about it. But I'm gonna run to the gas station and top off my tank so that I am at full, because I'm at half right now, and I don't know what's going on with work tonight, because... Boss lady just told me, send me a copy of your ID, which I don't know why she needs it, because I show it to the guy at the gate. So, I'm confused, but whatever. I'm gonna run up in here and try to uh, finish fueling up this tank. I also have a couple gas cans in here. There's a big green one back here. Compliments of Mr. JC. And um, I have a little one down here that I can use. So if I need to use a generator, I can. I don't plan on it. I mean, the worst I ever had was when I had fish tanks, and I don't have any right now, um, at bait shops. For those of you who do not know, they sell little oxygen tablets. They are like Alka-Seltzer. You throw them in, and they fizz. And you use so much per gallon, and it puts oxygen into the water to help your fishies survive. And then they also have uh, bait pumps, which are battery-operated pumps. Usually two C-cell batteries or D-cell batteries. Different sizes, and it just basically bubbles and aerates the water with a little airline, and that's it. So my fish all survived when I went through the 2006 we had three hurricanes back to back I can't pick my fingers up so I apparently I, I, I haven't slept enough but um yeah we had three hurricanes back to back and um, I can only remember the name of one of them right now we have Dorian that's coming which I, I don't know uh, the sky looks ugly but we've been having rain here like literally every day at some point for the last couple of weeks so it's nothing new for us I'm not in a flood zone, but it is flooded over there where Mr. Country will be if he has relegated himself back to the woods, which I don't know because I ain't checking in. He ain't checking in. I ain't checking in. I got stuff to do. Anyway, uh, it's another pointless Sunday vlog, isn't it? <laughs> Ghost of the past, man. I... Uh, I've got plenty from the people that I worked on and helped or didn't manage to save to the ones I did to the family members that didn't want them saved because there's all of that to exes. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my hair. I've got some kind of crazy thing going on in the back. I need to shave all this down again, which is called the undercut, but I haven't had it done. <clears throat> and my son is too lazy to offer to do it for me. And it's very hard to do it yourself. Anyway, um... <clears throat> I'm the... Th you know, right now there's a storm that's brewing. I have a Terrence Trent Darby song stirring in my head. Go ahead, YouTube. Give me a content violation for that one, too. Which has been your pattern with every video lately, and you wonder why people are leaving your platform. Hmm. Um, yeah, there is a storm brewing, and I'm not playing any music, so copyright whatever the hell you want to copyright because I'm not using anything that's copywritten 
One day I'll send out a barrage of emails, but I'm not in the mood right now. Anyway, the lady just told me to send her a copy of my freaking ID, which I did, but I still got to show it to the guy at the gate, so I don't understand what the point is. And hello, I don't have red hair in that picture of my license from years ago. Or the long-haired black picture from many years ago on my passport. Ugh. <sighs> Anyway, uh, I'm going to try to run into the store really quickly, and uh, I got the windshield wipers, but I'm not going to put them on because, again, I think I get them cheaper at Walmart. We don't have a super Walmart by us. We have a Walmart market, which is like a grocery store version. Sorry about my voice, <clears throat> and um, I am almost positive it will not cost me $30 for two windshield wipers over there. I may even commandeer them from that broken down piece of crap in the driveway that my son has had sitting there for almost two years. Well, probably two years now that he hasn't driven. I'm sure one of them will fit. Um, anyway, I'm going to run into Winn-Dixie. I did get my uh, gasoline products. Here's the small can. The big one is too heavy for me to lift it up because it's five gallons, which is a little over 35 pounds and this is what happens when we have storms in Florida everyone becomes an asshole they're beeping at a truck that is dropping off probably supplies that you need and everybody's gotta be here now right now right now right now I gotta go uh there is something to living in the tourist state, and I will say this. I'm in central Florida, Tampa area. I don't know how y'all do it down there in, like, Miami, the Keys, all that. That's tourist all day, every day, because I'd be in jail. I'd be wearing orange. I would kill somebody. People just don't know how to act. For some reason, they come to Florida, and they think, I could just do woo, whatever I want, especially when it's hurricane time. Sorry, y'all, I got hiccups. A lot of these bars will do hurricane parties where they have these lick it up drinks. And I mean, they... <laughs> I'm drinking ice water, but... <laughs> Woo! Them drinks are strong. All right, you don't play with that unless you're, like, big-time heavy drinker. Just spilled water all over myself for that clip. But, um, yeah... I will just say they have hurricane parties. Like, it's cool to be out in the middle of that. And you'll see some dumbass weatherman in a yellow freaking raincoat out there getting his ass beat by the wind. It's about 80 hours an hour. The wind is so, it's so hectic. And you're stupid. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to end today's second vlog. <laughs> Because I really have nothing else to add. I'm just going to run into the store right here and try to grab... My car smells like gasoline. These bottles are both closed up, but I don't... Oh, my God. I'm getting high off the fumes. And I'm not real happy with what I paid for these windshield wipers, so these are going to have to go back. Oh, anyway, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and follow Jen Crazy, because it's always... Just always. Um, I'm hoping for the day that I can say one day it's not. Um, I did manage to check my lottery tickets in their store there somewhere, and I am not a lottery winner, <laughs> which means I get to keep doing stuff like this to try to make money. And YouTube's not paying me. And even if they were supposed to pay me, they keep hitting me with copyright violations for things I didn't even use that were copyrighted. You suck. YouTube, you suck. Hmm, maybe that'll be the... No, well, I'll make that the title of the video. They'll definitely copyright violate me on that. Probably ban the whole video so you guys won't get to see it. Anyway... I'm going to go because I need to get into the store and I got people looking at me like I'm crazy next to me. I think I work tonight in about five hours. 
Maybe. Maybe not. And I'm gonna try to get my last couple of things done, because I don't know if you guys can tell, but that sky back there is actually gray. That's not blue. This is blue. Not blue. Anyway, um... Um, yeah. Ah, I gotta get in here and get some stuff did. And then I'm gonna go back home and I'm going to lay my ass down for a little bit to try to get some sleep. Because I'm in desperate need of it. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye! This is Florida for you if you can't see the water dripping down my face. As quick as I went into the hair salon, I think it's called Supercuts or something, I just tried to get a quick little $5 oh, haircut so that I can get rid of it. It's actually the undercut. It's the part I'm complaining about back here that just needs to be cut. And now I've just got drenched. And I don't have my umbrella because I left it at the house. So... Liquid sunshine, and you can see it's pouring red down my forehead because of the red dye in my hair. Yeah. Oh, this is so not good. So not good. Ugh! Maybe I watched too many true crime series forensic shows, but every time I see a woman that looks like she's crying... And a child in the back. And a man and a woman just got out. It always makes me want to write down their license tag information. Because I feel like something might not quite be right. It's scary how many people go missing in the United States. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, I'm wheezing right now. I need to take my inhaler it's somewhere down here in my purse, but at the moment, <coughs> I'm sitting next to this car. I just got my undercut done. Instead of the normal five bucks, it cost me 15, and then I tipped seven. Because, yeah, I'm a very good tipper. My pocketbook didn't appreciate that, but. Popeye's chicken smells so good over here right now, but I really don't need to spend any more money on it. I have these annoying hiccups that won't go away. Anyway, um, in the car next to me, I'm pretty sure the lady is rubbing her nose and crying and then there's a little boy that you can see the top of his head right there and he just looked at me with very big eyes and another lady and a man got out and went into the store so I don't know what's going on there but you never can know about other people's business and I ain't trying to be in it but I am that bitch that would run up into the burning building as a firefighter and as a paramedic, get in the middle of family squabbles and wills and DNRs, which are do not resuscitates, and try to sort that out between relatives that want to fight for some money. And, uh, yeah, I've always been a public servant and worked in the... Sorry, did y'all just see my bra again? Anyway, um, it's a black bra, ain't nothing special about it. And, um, I've done it over and over, and it gets tedious after a while because you get folks that just don't want your help, and they need your help, but they're like, ah, don't you? You ever seen the episodes of Cops where they always make the joke about the husband has on the white wife beater, which is the tea tank, 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 top, tea, not whatever tank top that has the white sleeveless shirt and he's like but I love her and she's like don't take him away I love him and she's got two black eyes yeah thank you lady for getting me another violation on the copyright cause I ain't even playing on music in my car and now cause it's playing in her car y'all are gonna get me 
Ugh. All right. What just happened over here? Your girl is smoking a cigarette like it's the best thing she ever had since sliced bread and... I don't know where baby boy went. He disappeared. That's not him right there. If y'all are looking in the back window, that's not him. Your girl is high like life. Boy, she is effed up right now. That's what we get to deal with down here. All right, so last check-in. Uh, the lady has not gotten back to me about what I'm supposed to be doing about tonight. Send her a copy of my ID, which I don't know why she needs that, but it doesn't matter. Um, and now I got crazy folks next to me that are probably going to kill me. So if I die, it's them right there. They did it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I just asked mom if she wanted to get any, um, Popeye's chicken for dinner. She said no. Not going to ask number one son because he's not going to give me any money for it. And he'll probably say, yeah. But I'm thinking I'm about to go get me a maybe a two-piece meal and some red beans and rice. Much to the protest of my stomach. Which is going to ensure that I end up at the toilet either one way or the other. Anyway, I know y'all didn't need to leave it hearing that, but always the truth. I'm straight up. Um, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Because I'm going to go get some food that I don't need to eat that's greasy and acidic and it's going to cause me some stomach problems. Alright, for some reason my phone is not charging past 7% and I don't know what the deal is. I've tried two different chargers and uh, I'm going to go in here for better lighting. Let me turn this off. Turn this on. I've pretty much spent most of the day sleeping on and off because I was told this morning that the lady that is at the rich household that I was supposed to be taking care of would rather just keep the same people she has. Thanks. Appreciate that. This is why I hate the medical field. People that have the money are just wishy-washy. Anyway, I am still bleeding like a mad woman, and I think that's a lot of the reason that I am so tired, because... Even though I take my prenatals and my iron vitamins and super B complex and fish oil for the omega-3 fatty acids and um, potassium, I'm just tired. Like, it doesn't go away. Mom thinks I'm a POS, but whatever. <laughs> I got little boy blue in the morning, which is about eight hours from now. Maybe less. It's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, if y'all can see that. And I'm getting ready to make a lot of noise making a protein smoothie. Actually, it's not even a protein smoothie. It's uh, just fruits and pretty much fruits. Um, I'm debating throwing a banana in there because I think it's going to make it too thick, but I've got Greek yogurt. And these are a mixed berry frozen blend that I thought out, which are blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and um, strawberries. And the very bottom, I have some grapes down here. So probably going to give half of this to little boy child over there. She ain't little boy. He's number one son. But I'm thinking about throwing a peach in there instead of actually doing a banana. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes it comes out too thick, it becomes like a puree, and it's hard to drink it, so. You need the Super Duty throw, uh, straws for that, so I recommend that y'all get them from your 7-Eleven. This is going to be loud. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here's the super specific liquid part. But you do need liquid to juice stuff up, especially at 2 in the morning when it's going to make a lot of noise. 
I'm actually going to split this with my son, who I can hear is still up in gaming. He's probably not even hungry, but sharing is caring. And that's the concoction right there, boys and girls. Peaches, berries, Greek yogurt, a little bit of sweetener, fake sweetener. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and I think that's about it. Oh, some grapes. I put some grapes in there. So this is going to be a mess. <laughs> Mom's going to come out and come get me. I got to go. Believe it or not, the um, blending machine took less noise or made less noise than the freaking ice maker. Because I'm going to pour this over ice and I'm wheezing right now. So I got to go take my asthma inhaler too. So it's been a great end to the day. Hating life right now. <coughs> I know I already said this earlier, but like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you guys will see me on the next episode of Gen Crazy because I'm just plugging all kinds of stuff together. I suck. Officially.